Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So as you can tell from the title, we are doing another luxury haul. I am partnering with Gently on this video. If you're unfamiliar with Gently, they are a secondhand app. They have the largest selection of secondhand items in the world by combining listings from Depop, Poshmark, eBay, The Real Real, and more. So you can easily search the entire secondhand market at once. Gently is the best place to find designer brands for up to 90% off, and they also offer free returns for any purchases purchased on Gently. So I have one item to share with you guys that I purchased through Gently. It is from Laura Piana, and I have been definitely having an eye on Laura Piana brand overall, particularly this one handbag, but I also love their cardigan. So this cardigan I'm about to share right now was actually regularly 4,000, and I purchased it for around 600 on Gently. So this is the cardigan, and basically I just need more high quality cardigans in my collection because I've noticed whenever I am outfit planning for a trip and I of course want airport outfits planned for the trip as well, I don't have any like high quality comfortable cardigans. They're either like low quality or they're not so comfortable. So I needed like a really good comfortable cardigan for the airport or you know, you can wear it on an everyday basis as well. So this is the cardigan. I will be sharing how it looks on and it's just like a simple button up cardigan. I believe it was cashmere as well. I would hope, of course, for the price tag. And I also love how this has pockets. So it has two pretty large pockets on the front. I can't have clothes that don't have pockets, especially in the airport when you're like running around through TSA and stuff. I like to have like pockets for things, even just every day, like going out to dinner or something. I want to have pockets like just easily accessible to just throw in your phone or your keys or whatever if you don't have time and you're like in a rush so you don't have as much time to get in and out of your handbag so i love having pockets and i love that this one has pockets and i believe it was either italian sizing or france sizing so this was a 36 uh, i'll have it on the screen if i'm incorrect but it basically uh equaled out to either be a us2 or 4 and i love the buttons as well so you could wear this buttoned up or you can wear it open i definitely plan on wearing it open and i also just love this little collar as well and then the buttons uh, along the front of the sweater have this tortoise design Here's how the Laurel Piana cardigan looks on. I probably wouldn't wear it with these trousers. It's like a slightly different beige color. I feel like the beige has to either match or it has to just be like white, cream, a totally different color. But I love how it feels. It's so, so cozy. I'd probably wear this with like silk, white, or cream, probably cream pants as opposed to like these trousers kind of aren't the same beige. But um, and there's like a white tank underneath. I love the little pockets. I'm so, so pleased with this purchase, especially for the price because it was a significant discount to purchase it through Gently. So I'm very, very happy with that purchase. I have been eyeing Laura Piana. Their clothes are definitely a very high price. So I was really happy with being able to purchase this for around 600 as opposed to 4,000 through Gently. And I'll have Gently's website down below. They also have an app. So I'll have all that information in the description box down below. I prefer shopping on apps, but they do have a website so you can shop via their website or their app. And for those of you who have like a smaller budget, one brand that I highly recommend on there that I looked at myself and they had a wide variety of options to choose from was Rag & Bone. That's so definitely a brand I would recommend that's in the within like a couple hundred dollar price range, but it's offered for a lot less on Gently. And even though these are considered secondhand items, they also offer items that aren't you. So you can look up like new with tag. Uh, you can definitely find items that are new. The cardigan that I purchased was new. And there's just a lot of people, myself included, who have new items with tags or maybe without the tags, but never worn or only worn once in their closet that they'll resell on the real real uh, depop poshmark i myself even do that i just did that recently i did like a little closet clean out um and you can find items that are new if you aren't wanting something used but they do offer both and the price is obviously significantly less than you would pay at the sticker price if you were to purchase the product directly from you know a retailer's website and they also have filters where you can select like your size that way you're only seeing items that are your clothing and or shoe size. So now into the rest of the haul, the next items I have to share are from Alaya. So I have a pair of shoes from Alaya, sneakers, and then two pairs of sunglasses. So I have a lot of sunglasses, as we know. I have, think I've hauled, like I had a period of time where I was hauling like a ton of sunglasses in every video, and I accrued plenty of everyday sunglasses, but I definitely am lacking in the like colored sunglasses department, just having different options. I and mean, I don't want just a plain tortoise or a plain black pair of sunglasses. So I was basically on a hunt to find sunglasses that were kind of like a pink or red or white. Um, I do have those white Chanel's that are like white and black. Um, I love those ones, but they are kind of a circular shape and I wanted some that were square because the circle shape can look a little bit funky and harder to style at times. So the first pair of sunglasses are these white ones from Alaya. I absolutely love these. These are my new favorite pair of sunglasses. I posted these on, uh, I believe my Instagram story. I don't remember if I have tried them on a TikTok video or not, but I absolutely love these and I love that these are very like, stand it's a very standout piece, but it's also very easy to style. I've been wearing these almost every single day 
and I just love how they're very unique and different. I also like the fact that Alaya is a very discreet brand in the sense of their rarely are logos on their pieces. I know I did haul an Alaya tote that I purchased for my mom in one of my prior videos. <laughs> take the sunglasses off so I'm not continuing to talk with sunnies on, but um, I love that a lot of their pieces don't have logos. If they do, it's not something that is a lot. I know that one tote was a lot. I really just, with the logo, it was pretty big. If you saw that one video of mine, I mostly purchased that just for my mom because it was lightweight and it's really hard to find like lightweight totes for her. So I just like the fact there's not like any logos here. I don't mind a logo if it's something kind of small. And you know, again, I'm not completely against logos. It just kind of depends on the item. Um, I like that this, it just kind of has this little stud design on the sides and there's not really any like, you know, big logo or anything. And the next pair of Alaya sunglasses and last pair are these little kind of red ones. They're not opaque, so keep that in mind if you're thinking of purchasing these. So you can certainly see it through these, uh, as you can tell. So these are not sunglasses that I will wear on an everyday basis when I'm not doing makeup and stuff. It kind of depends if I'm having a good skin day, if I'm having a good eyebrow day. Um, but I do not gravitate towards these on an everyday basis by any means. I definitely gravitate towards the white ones. But yeah, I just liked these for kind of a more funky, different pair of sunglasses without being, you know, anything too crazy. So I probably will wear these at like the beach. I don't even know how I plan to style them. I just decided like I needed different. I think, yeah, it was when I was at the beach and I noticed every look kind of seemed the same. It was when I was uh, in Cannes in France and I noticed I only brought like two or three pairs of sunglasses and they were all kind of the same, like black or tortoise and it just kind of made my outfits look kind of plain and I, my outfits would be different. They weren't like basic outfits, but just the sunglasses were throwing me off and I just recognized that I needed a pair of like funkier sunglasses. I needed a few pairs, so that was my reason for purchasing those two pairs of sunglasses. Last thing from Alaya are these sneakers. I have not actually worn them yet, so I can't speak on the comfort or anything. Um, I haven't even tried them on, but it's these pairs. It was a collab with Superga. I don't even know how to pronounce that and their platform sneakers, and I have not been a fan of platform shoes. That has been a thing. I know in the recent years, especially, it's like coming back to wear like platform shoes, and there's a lot of brands coming out with platform sneakers, platform this and that, like clogs and all that. Not usually my vibe, especially because I'm on the little a taller side for a female, I'm 5'8", so I don't need a platform by any means. Um, but I did just really like this pair because I was looking for just a plain pair of white sneakers that was different. I didn't want to buy something kind of basic like white Adidas sneakers or something. So I wanted something that was different and they were, I think they was thought they were sold out of the regular non-platform style sneakers. So I just went with the platform ones. Um, and I like the brand Alaya a lot. So they always have really, really high quality pieces. And here they are side by side. I'm sure I'll style them soon. I was just waiting to haul them. I need to definitely get better about updating you guys on comforts of shoes and whatever I've hauled, sometimes I'll mention. A haul update on the comfort of something and then I don't so I definitely need to get better with that and I just like how it's just a plain little Alaya logo here and I think the red S underneath it is for the Super Girl brand um, so yeah I just liked how these were very simple and the material definitely feels comfortable so I'm looking forward to styling these and this is probably boring for most people but they do come with individual dust bags obviously when you get into that kind of price range it's going to come with dust bags but I do definitely prefer when shoes come with individual dust bags. That's something why I like love Hermes shoes. They will always come with individual dust bags so that way the shoes aren't rubbing against each other. So that's just boring, but something to keep in mind, they do come with individual dust bags. And then the next thing is this bracelet from Bulgari that I picked up for my mom. She was kept eyeing it and like hinting that she wanted it. She actually ordered it from Selfridges and then it's like they notified her that it sold out, uh, like they sold too many or something. So then she was like, oh, like I really wanted that. And it was definitely a better deal to purchase it on Selfridges. So I just went, I called the store that was near me and I went inside and just picked it up for her. Um, so it's just this little red bracelet and she wanted it to this, for some reason it was like such a high ticket item for her. She wanted red because it was symbolized strength or health. I'm not really sure, um, but I just, she had told me all about it and I don't recall now, but she's probably going to watch this and be annoyed that I didn't remember, but um, it symbolized strength or health or something like that. So she wanted it for, that reason um, and it just has like the little snake head that a lot of Bulgari's jewelry pieces have um, and this is pretty reasonably priced it was like around I think on Selfridges it was like 250 ish or something 270 but I purchased it in Bulgari store like near Newport which was obviously not the Selfridges price um, I think it was around like 370 or something with tax and everything and then the last things I'm going to be hauling are just things I received in PR they're just kind of random and uh, kind of more price friendly for people that I know I have like most people on here prefer the Laura Piana and the Alaya, but I definitely have other people that like the budget friendly pieces and kind of look at what I 
pick from designer pieces more so for inspiration so I'm going to get into these pieces from Abercrombie first I just want to mention this hair clip I actually purchased this myself from uh, Madewell's the brand and I actually just love this so much I have been on the hunt for just unique uh, nice quality hair clips and this one is a really good quality hair clip and it's like this milky like marble sort of print but it's kind of hard to find good marble print uh, hair clips that are good quality and don't look like fake or anything I really like this one I purchased myself one and my mom one which is just like going in her little birthday goodie bag that she doesn't know about um, which doesn't really matter if she watches this she already knows about all of her birthday presents so it doesn't even matter um, that was just like something small that I like added in there and I have a few other hair clips from Madewell as well and they're all really good quality and just like nice unique design so I definitely recommend that brand for hair clips okay now into the pieces from Abercrombie so I did receive these in PR but I was able to select everything so the first thing is this black bodysuit and it's not really showing well on camera but it's a little bit sheer and I love that it's this really soft knit material I used to be like a huge Abercrombie fan in high school maybe even middle school but I haven't worn or purchased anything from them since that time frame and I'm actually really impressed with the quality of all of these pieces this feels like so soft and I do not normally like turtlenecks but because it's so soft I don't think it would be like I don't think it would be itchy or make me feel claustrophobic because it's so soft and it's a little bit stretchy and I would just probably wear it's a bodysuit I think I mentioned that, I don't recall um, so I'd probably just wear black bandeau uh, underneath it and then probably with like kind of like grayish black jeans denim so here's how this bodysuit looks and I would style it with little black pants like these ones just simple black pants um, or you could do like a simple black skirt, shorts, whatever, you know, is your preference. I prefer pants. Just because I feel like the bodysuit is already a little bit revealing. I don't know if you can tell with the lighting, but it's already a little bit revealing. It's a little bit see-through. So I feel like pants is just better for somebody like me who prefers like modest, conservative style. But you could obviously do shorts or a skirt as well. Next are these trousers. These are in a size US 2 or 26. Um, and I purchased the regular. So you know how on some like pants they offer short regular or tall i'm 5'8 and i usually purchase the regular i feel like i'm on the taller side so i'm kind of confused as to regular sometimes it's even a little bit longish on me or it's the perfect length these happen to be the perfect length so if you are shorter than probably like 5'6 i would recommend to order the short length but i just loved these trousers and i've been looking for just like a good pair of this sort of like beige-ish tone uh trousers they do have plenty of white trousers but i didn't have any that were like a nice beige tone I don't know why I'm just really gravitating towards, as we'll see in the next items, like beige colored pieces. And I also like that it has the loops for the belt. Um, and it actually feels like really good quality, especially for the price. And they have like several trousers on their website, um, probably more than several, but these ones are the straight length. For anything like pant style for the ends, I don't like skinny. Um, I, don't think, I don't think hardly anybody wants skinny, but I always get straight leg and it just seems to fit the best and be the most flattering on me. And here's how these pants look on. I just paired them with this plain white tank top from Zara that I probably would have sized up in because it was a little bit... I have the redone tank. I don't know in what sequence videos are going up, but I have a redone tank in black that's in a small that fits me perfectly and it's a little bit stretchy. This one is not so stretchy and it fits a little bit tighter and I mean it fits me, but I don't like tight fitted clothes. So I probably would have sized up in a medium had I known, but it was like $10 so it doesn't really matter. Um, so yeah, it's like a white tank top is what I would wear with these, and I love how these fit. They fit absolutely perfectly. And the next thing, also beige, is this sweatshirt. This feels so, so soft, especially inside. With outside, everything feels really, really soft. They had several options for like cities and stuff for the front of the sweatshirt. And this one says like French Riviera, um, and then some more text on it as well. This is in a small, the bodysuit is either in a US 2.4 or a small, probably a small, um, so yeah, I love this and I just needed more like sweatshirts that kind of are a little bit like more stylish. I love the sweatshirts that I have are from when I am traveling. So it will have like the city name on it, similar to this, but they're not in like plain colors like that. Um, or a lot of the sweatshirts I have say like Pepperdine on it and stuff. So I wanted one that was a little bit easier to style. I absolutely love this sweatshirt even more with these shorts. These are from Sean, S-H-A-N. I think I've hauled these before, but I love how this just like sort of elevates a sweatshirt. And then like the text print color matches the shorts. So sorry if you hear noise. I think I have somebody like just purchased a house or something near me. So I think they're moving in. But um, yeah, so I love how this looks on so much. And this can obviously then be worn, you know, more casual. This is kind of like a way you can sort of elevate a sweatshirt and still be very comfortable. And the next thing is this t-shirt that's in a size small. 
And I love that this is a thick uh, um, material t-shirt. I have been purchasing so many basics lately, like tanks, t-shirts. Uh, this one I'm wearing right now, I just purchased a couple weeks ago. It's from the brand Redone. I am obsessed with it and I want it in every single color. I was like on the hunt for the perfect quality and most flattering tank tops and t-shirts. And what I've learned is t-shirts that are not 100% cotton, just I don't, I don't like them, they don't work for me. I like to have the ability for them to be a little bit oversized so I can tuck it into like my jeans. Like I usually just tuck like one little side in my jeans and um, they need to be 100% cotton for t-shirts. That is something I've learned. If they're not, I don't like them. They don't fit right. They don't, the material isn't right um, for like the regular t-shirts. Um, and then I wanted one that was like a thick material since we are kind of going into fall. Cause I'm like for every day, I don't wear a lot of the things that I haul. Like that's not something I'm wearing every day or I may not style it in the way that you guys might think for every day. For every day, I usually just wear jeans and like a t-shirt, a tank top, something like that. And then I might throw a cardigan like the Laura Piana one over it. Um, so I like that this was a really thick material. That way it'll work for fall. Hopefully you guys can see this is how this looks on. And I just like got oh, a little bit boxy fitted. And I just have it paired with these like Zara jeans that I just purchased. I think I'll be holding somewhat soon. I can't really see anything <laughs> from here, but I plan on tucking it somehow. Like I always tuck my t-shirts. Um, this one is styled with a little bit of a cut, so I might have to like work around that, but I would basically style it like tucked. I just can't see at all. I do not have my glasses on, so it might not be tucked correctly, but I do plan on wearing it like slightly tucked and possibly just one like that. I don't know, but this is like what I would typically wear on an everyday basis. A t-shirt of some kind and then just like Zara jeans, so I like this. Um, next two things are cream colors, so that's it for the beige. I don't know why I'm just very into cream, beige. Um, I do of course love like black um, and white as well. I don't know, I just I needed more basics and just simplicity inside of my closet I knew a lot of the items in my closet. Like the problem when I would go to like, pick out an outfit is I didn't really have that many basics. So I purchased kind of a lot. These ones again were PR, but I also purchased a lot of things from Zara. Um, redone. I need to order more tank tops because I just ordered one in black just to like test it and I love it so much so I need to order more of those. Um, but yeah, so the next thing are these jeans, this cream color and I've been wanting a pair of cream color jeans for a long time but it's hard to find like jeans I'm very picky with. I love Zara's jeans. They tend to fit my body type very well. Anyone that I know who is kind of just like not curvy, <laughs> it tends to work with Zara jeans. Like I'm not very curvy and I have like slight hips and I don't have like a behind. So for me, Zara jeans work very, very well for me. Um, and these ones, I also tried these ones on, are also very, very flattering. I've heard really good things about Abercrombie's jeans. So I'm really excited to style these because I wanted a good pair of cream jeans because I just don't have that at all in my closet. Here's these jeans on and on my tippy toes, so you guys can see. These fit perfectly. Some brands just run like a little smaller, a little larger. I would normally be a four denim. Uh, they were way too big for, for me from like a different brand. These are in a two and these fit me perfectly, so I think it just like, depends, but um, I love these jeans and this is like how I would style it. So I love these. And these were, again, in like a 26 too, I believe, yeah. A 26, which is an equivalent to a US two. And for size reference, I know I like, typically will say I'm a US four. I'm in between like a two and four. There are certain people who prefer their clothes to be on the tighter side. If I were one of those people, I would just always be a two, but I prefer things to be a little bit oversized, so that's why I do opt for a US4. But I noticed, uh, I don't even remember what the brand was, but I ordered these clothes that were all in a US4 and they were just like hanging off of me. So I haven't lost weight or anything, so I don't know why. And a two just seems to be working better for me from a lot of brands, so I've just been opting for that, unless it's something like the Laurel Piana cardigan where I do want it to be a little bit oversized. That one might have been a two though, it was France sizing, so I don't recall. I think it was a France 36, but last thing is this sweater and I love how soft this is like I'm just so impressed for the price range of Abercrombie that these are all very like high quality feeling pieces and I just feel so soft and comfortable so this I believe was called like a waffle knit um sweater and I like how the sleeves are very like large like that so when it's sitting on you when you're wearing it it fits just like really cozy and nice so I love this I also like the neckline I don't like um to feel claustrophobic so I like how this is kind of a little bit wider and this is in a size small slash medium so with this one they didn't have small medium large they had small slash medium and then it was either medium slash large or large slash extra large so this is the small slash medium and then here's this sweater on i love the sleeves everything's just very like oversized and i love this neckline so i would wear it tough like this personally and i just have these large jeans with it so this is how i would wear it for like every day but you can also wear it untucked i just kind of prefer the tucked look i don't know for some reason it looks better to me, but here's it untucked. 
So next I'm hauling three pairs of pajamas. That'll be the last thing I'll be hauling in this video. So one pair is from Casa Bella that I purchased myself and the other two are from Victoria's Secret that I received in PR. So the Casa Bella pair are these little like tangerine colored. It's just like a short sleeve button up and then the, these pants. And uh, a lot of you guys ask where my pajamas are whenever I am filming like a TikTok where I show pajamas or something or a YouTube vlog or whatever. Pajamas are almost always from Casa Bella when it's like a set like this with the button up and the short sleeve. Um, the pajama pants I'm currently wearing since I am filming this in my pajama pants are from Casa Bella. This little like floral pair of pajamas that you can not see that well. Um, I love Casa Bella's pajamas because they're all prima cotton. I don't want to say they all are. I believe all of their pajamas are prima cotton, but I could be wrong. I always opt for the long, long pants, short sleeve, and then I also have a few pair that are long sleeve. But I have been getting really, really hot when I'm sleeping lately, so I've been wearing only short sleeve lately. So I absolutely love Costa Bella's pajamas and I definitely recommend purchasing them on Marshalls or TJ Maxx because those were $40. I purchased them, I think on TJ Maxx, I had to order my dog like more dog bags for his little backyard bathroom trips. Um, they have them on, on there for, I like the quality of the bags they have on there better. Um, and so I went ahead and picked up uh, myself a pair of those pajamas and I also ordered my grandma a pair for like to add to her birthday bags. It's also she and my mom have the same birthday, so, um, and then my dad's birthday is five days prior to there, so it's a very costly month, um, but that was just, like, one thing I threw in her little birthday bag. Um, I just love Casa Bell's pajamas, they're such nice quality, and they're regularly over $100 if you were to purchase them directly on the website, so definitely purchase them on, like, Marshalls or TJ. Okay, and then next are these pajamas from Victoria's Secret, and again, these are from PR, but I did get to pick them out. And I just like having a lot of options of variety for pajamas. I am like a pajama like freak, like I need to have plenty of pajama options. Um, part of it is just my own preference. I do work from home, so I do kind of live in pajamas most of the time. But also it's because I do film content where sometimes I'm doing a skincare video or it's just a video, you know, where I happen to show when I'm wearing pajama wise. I don't want to just wear the same several pair of pajamas. I like to have options. So it's kind of for work reasons, I suppose. Um, maybe I just tell myself that because I just am like a pajama hoarder. I don't know, but these ones are really cute little striped ones. I believe this is a new design um, and it's kind of a little twist on their iconic like pink and white striped pajamas. So I think these are really cute for fall and winter. Okay, then last pair of pajamas from Victoria's Secret. Um, these are my mom's favorite pajamas. Like she will only wear Victoria's Secret pajamas and it's this kind uh, specifically. I think the la with last ones are a different material. These are the ones that she predominantly wears. Not even predominantly, she will only purchase Victoria's Secret and Aberjay pajamas. So um, yeah, she can, I can, she can vouch for these pajamas and she is very, very picky about comfort. And so she loves the fact that these are very comfortable and they're also slightly stretchy. So I figured I would get a pair as well since I actually didn't own any Victoria's Secret pajamas. Um, that fit me anymore anyways um so i'm really excited about these and i love this maroon color i just love the color maroon in general so yeah and these feel really really cozy as well so that's it for this video and again i will have the link to gently's website and that information in the description box down below and i will see you guys in my next luxury haul bye guys